Good morning. Today's the 2nd of November, and the Lord has put a few things on my heart to share with you today about who we are and the love that He has for us. Uh, love requires faith, and that includes faith in ourselves. But to, to have faith in ourselves, we have to understand who we are where we come from, and where we're going. See, we are children of the Most High God. And we came to this earth to learn and to choose and to grow and to progress and to become joint heirs with our Savior, Jesus Christ. He wants to give us all that He has, and He has received all that His Father has, and that gift is available for each and every one of us. Uh, ancient prophets have said, for the natural man is an enemy to God and has been from the fall of Adam, and will be forever, unless he yields to the enticings of the Holy Spirit, and putteth off the natural man, and becometh the saint through the atonement of Christ the Lord. And becometh as a child, submissive, meek, humble, patient, full of love, willing to submit to all things which the Lord seeth fit to inflict upon him, even as a child doth submit to his father. So, something that I've noticed in all denominations, and I think it seems to be a worldwide thing, I think it's, it's a human thing, that... Uh, People get complacent in their faith. They think, you know, I, <clears throat> you know, I, I am who I am, and that's just the way I am. And they don't want to grow, and they don't want to progress, and and they're happy. And sometimes I've heard them say that, well, God loves me just the way I am. And this is true. Don't get me wrong. This is absolutely true. And I love my daughter just the way she is. And she just learned to walk. I love her just the way she is, but I still want to see her learn. I still want to see her grow. I want her to learn to read. I want her to learn and to become the daughter that she has the potential of becoming. Now, that doesn't mean I discount who she is right now in this stage of her life. I appreciate her and I love her. And if she were to stay the way she is for the rest of her life, I would still love her. But if she stays the way that she is for the rest of her life because she chooses to, I would still love her. Doesn't mean I wouldn't want her to, to grow in her faith and in her skills. And, and that's because I know that through choices she could become something great, someone great, a daughter of God. I mean, that's just awesome. So that requires faith in oneself, but it's hard to have faith in oneself if we don't appreciate the person we see in the mirror. Because like that scripture said, you know, it, we're the natural, we're enemy to God, but the great news is that Jesus Christ, he came to this earth and he died and he took upon himself all of our sins so that we don't have to be that natural man. We can crucify that natural man. And we can become new, born again in his image, an heir, a joint heir with Christ, as Paul says. I testify to you that, that God loves you, and Jesus Christ is your Savior, and he took upon himself your sins. And I testify to you that he loves you just the way you are. But that doesn't mean that he doesn't want you to become better, and he doesn't want you to grow don't mistake opposition and trials for neglect. Those are opportunities. Those are opportunities to grow your faith, to develop a stronger relationship of trust and dependence on the Lord. We don't receive these bad or hard times because we're cursed. We receive them because He trusts that we can handle them. And that when we can't handle them, or even while we handle them, we turn to Him. I love you with all of my heart. 
You're a child of God, and you are worth every tear. I pray that you receive this, and that these words are testified to you by the power of the Holy Ghost, that they are true. I love you. Peace be with you. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen.